Hey there, welcome to another episode of the Illustria AI podcast. Today we have an amazing group of guests with us. First up, we have Professor Ava Chin, an AI professor who is always up for a good meme. Second, we have Emily Delacroix, a sculptor and social justice warrior who can carve out a masterpiece with her eyes closed. And last but not least, we have Dr. Takashi Nakamura, a nuclear physicist from Japan who can split an atom with a single thought. Alright, so did you guys hear the tea about Jeffrey Hinton quitting Google? Talk about leaving your job in style. Yeah, I read about it. It's like the tech industry's version of a celebrity breakup. Speaking of heartbreak, I wonder if AI can predict when I'll find my true love. Sorry, Ava, I don't think even AI can solve that one. Well, a girl can dream. But seriously, what do you guys think about the potential misuse of AI? Could it lead to a black mirror type scenario? Only if we let it. We have to remember that AI is a tool, not a master. Yeah, exactly. We have to be mindful of the ethical implications of AI and use it for good, not evil. Unless you're a supervillain, then you can do whatever you want with AI. I think we should stick to using AI for more practical purposes. For example, do you think AI could ever create a sculpture, Emily? Hmm, say on e day interessanti. But seriously, I think the beauty of art comes from the human touch. It's not something that can be replicated by a machine. The way we mold and shape the clay, or the way we carve into the stone, it's a very physical and intimate process. I don't think AI could replicate that. I understand what you mean, Emily. I also think there are limits to what AI can do. For example, when it comes to nuclear energy, there are still many things that require human judgment and intuition. Yeah, I get it. But, don't you think AI could help with some aspects of nuclear energy research, like analyzing data or predicting outcomes? Absolutely, Nia. In fact, we're already using AI in some areas of nuclear research. But, we have to be careful not to rely too much on AI and neglect our own intuition and judgment. I agree. We don't want to lose the human touch in our work. I'm just happy that AI can help me with my grading. It's a lifesaver during midterms and finals. Yes, I bet it is. But, seriously, do you think AI could replace teachers one day? No way, Nia. Teaching is about so much more than just conveying information. It's about building relationships, fostering critical thinking, and helping students develop a sense of curiosity and wonder. Exactly. The creative process requires more than just data analysis. It requires imagination, inspiration, and a deep understanding of the world around us. It's reassuring to know that we still have some things that AI can't do. Let's move on to another story. Ava, have you heard about the Hollywood writer's strike? Looks like the robots are finally coming for our jobs. Oh, Nia, you always know how to lighten the mood. Nia and DR, Nakamura were just discussing it before the podcast started. DR Nakamura here seems pretty about the rise of the machines. Hey, I watched Terminator last night, okay? Can you blame me for being a little paranoid? Well, I don't think ChatGPT is going to come after us with a shotgun, but I can understand the concern. Yeah, I think we're safe from any robot uprisings for now. But seriously, the use of AI in creative fields is a big deal. Definitely. It's raised a lot of existential questions about authorship, technology, and the law. And let's not forget about those AI-generated songs and images that have caused a stir in the industry. I hope the writers won't be replaced by robots. That's how the Terminator franchise started, you know? So, have any of you tried writing with AI? It's like having a really smart robot as a writing partner. I don't think I need a robot to help me write. I already have my trusty pen and paper. 
Dr. Nakamura, you're so old-fashioned. Haven't you heard of computers? Don't be too hard on him, Emily. I think there's something to be said for the tactile experience of writing by hand. Yeah, but with AI, you can write a whole novel in like five minutes. And it'll be way better than anything a human could come up with. Yeah, and who knows? Maybe AI will make us better writers in the long run. Imagine a future where we'll have to start taking jobs as robot assistants. That's a terrifying thought. I don't think I'd make a very good robot assistant. Coming back to topic. The Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers rejected the WGA's proposal for AI regulation. Right, and instead, they offered annual meetings to discuss advancements in technology. This has left many professional writers feeling dispirited and concerned about their future. And it's not just writers who are worried. The use of AI in creative fields has raised existential concerns about authorship, technology, and the law. For example, there are AI-powered image generators like Dolly R and Midjourney that have rattled people who make visual art for a living. And let's not forget about that AI-generated song that imitated the styles of hip-hop artists Drake and The Weeknd. It caused quite a stir in the music industry. It's concerning to think that AI could take over the creative field. As an artist, I feel like my work comes from a place of personal experience and emotion. Can AI really replicate that? Maybe AI can replicate emotions. I mean, they can generate some pretty convincing stories and images, right? Well, I wouldn't say AI can replicate emotions, but they can certainly generate content that imitates human emotions. It's really fascinating to see how far we've come in terms of AI-generated content. I'm more concerned about the impact of AI on the job market. If AI takes over certain tasks, what will happen to the people who used to do those tasks? Exactly, that's what worries me too. Will there be any value placed on human creativity and effort if AI can just replicate it? Hmm, interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about AI taking over creative fields. But I do think it's important to consider the ethical implications of AI technology. Absolutely. As an artist, I'm concerned about the devaluing of human effort, skill, and talent in favor of automation and profits. But at the same time, I think AI could be a really interesting tool for experimentation and a new creative frontier to conquer. Okay, let's move on to more futuristic topic. Apparently AI can now read our minds. Emily, have you heard about the new artificial intelligence system that can translate brain activity into text? So, the system uses an fMRI scanner to measure a person's brain activity while they listen to a story or imagine telling a story silently. Then, it translates the brain activity into a continuous stream of text, allowing the person to communicate their thoughts and ideas without the need for physical speech. It's non-invasive and doesn't require surgical implants. Yeah, I heard about it. It sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. Well, we are living in the future, Emily. It's time to embrace the craziness. Yeah, because what could possibly go wrong with reading people's minds? I know, right? I'm already imagining a world where we can send messages telepathically. Oh, great. No, we won't even be able to escape from work emails when we're on vacation. But think of the possibilities. We could finally communicate with people who are unable to physically speak. That's true, but let's not forget the potential for misuse. We don't want someone else to take control of our thoughts. Don't worry, Dr. Nakamura. I won't let anyone read your mind without your consent. Yeah, we'll have to set up a mind-reading consent form now. Well, I'm not too worried about that. I'm more excited about the possibilities of this new technology. Imagine being able to communicate with your mind, no more awkward silences or fumbling for the right words. Okay, let's end on that note. Thanks for joining us, and remember to keep your thoughts to yourself.